The Trudeau government has cut ties with an anti-racism trainer that seemed fond of making racist comments. Hi, I'm Brian Lilly, political columnist with the Toronto Sun. It was something to behold the Trudeau government not knowing what to do, saying they would launch an investigation after it was pointed out to them that they hired someone to hold conferences across the country on fighting racism in broadcasting in Canada, who held racist views, who said the most vile things about Jews, calling them human bags of feces, who had negative things to say about francophones in the French language, even implying that French speakers had very low IQ, who once called Colin Powell the Jamaican house slave of the empire. This was someone who was going to be teaching broadcasters about not being racist? It's tough to imagine, but that's what was happening. And the ministry said last week that they would look into this over the weekend. The minister in charge of diversity, Ahmed Hassan, said that he found the comments to be vile and reprehensible, but he didn't cut ties with them. Well, just about noon Ottawa time on Monday, they finally did that. Let me read to you from Hassan's statement. Anti-Semitism has no place in this country. The anti-Semitic comments made by Leith Marouf are reprehensible and vile. We have provided notice to the Community Media Advocacy Center that their funding has been cut and their project has been suspended. He then goes on to call on CMAC to answer questions and explain how this came to be that a man who held such views was hired on to be a, an anti-racism coordinator. Hussein even calls his other comments xenophobic. All of it is true. Now, some are saying, well, the government couldn't have known. The minister probably didn't know this guy. Not really. The minister did know who Leith Marouf was. Maybe he didn't know about his comments, but he or somebody in his office should have. The minister put out a news release with Marouf quoted. The only two people quoted in the news release, Leith Marouf and Ahmed Hussain. They should have known about this. Someone should have used this newfangled contraption called the Google to look up some of his views. Just a cursory check would have found that this man was not what he claimed to be, that he held vile views that go against Canadian decency, Canadian norms, and what most people would consider racist viewpoints. These were all things the government could have and easily should have found out about, but they didn't bother looking. Too many of the anti-racism initiatives in this country are more about political agendas than ending racism, and that appears to be the case here. The minister, in, in former times when we had real ministerial responsibility, would be resigning. I don't expect that to happen, but somebody in this organization needs to answer for why they didn't do their due diligence. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment down below. Share this on social media. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.